Tesla supercharging network expands to 35,000 stalls. June 13, 2022. Tesla's Chinese division announced that the Tesla supercharging network has reached 35,000 individual connectors stalls. The Jubilee unit was installed on June 10. At the Dongshihu Tesla Center in Wuhan, China. Considering that Tesla deployed over 33,650 stalls and over 3,700 stations globally as of the end of Q1 2022. It means that an additional 1,300 plus units were installed so far this quarter. Interesting is the infographic released by Tesla, which reveals the progress since 202, when the first public supercharges was deployed to support the Tesla Model S rollout. The number of Tesla supercharges globally the 1st of September 2012. 10.000 June 2018. 20.000 November 2020. 30.000 November 2021 plus 10.000 in one year. 35.000 June 2022 plus 5.000 in roughly seven months. As we can see, it took several years to install the first 10,000 units. Over two years to get to 20,000 and a year to reach 30,000. The current rate of growth does not appear to be increasing beyond 10,000 units per year. But the 40,000 mark should be achievable in 2022. The question is whether the rate of expansion is too slow compared to constantly increasing Tesla car sales. Source reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside E. V. S. My take that is a lot of stalls. They are going to have to keep up the pace though to keep up with Tesla demand. Tesla Giga Berlin is producing nearly 1,000 vehicles per week. June 13, 2022. Elon Musk recent sent an email to Tesla employees. Congratulating them for their hard work this year. His email contained some updates on each Tesla Gigafactory. Including Giga Berlin. According to Elon Musk. The Berlin factory produced almost 1,000 cars last week. A notable achievement as Tesla tries to ramp production in Europe. Drone operators at Wolfpack Berlin shared a picture of Tesla bringing an extended robot arm into the factory, which may be for a second assembly line. Giga Berlin has an estimated annual output of 500,000 vehicles per year in its first phase. Tesla is poised to install 8 Giga press machines from IDRA in phase 1 of Giga Berlin to produce 500k vehicles per year. According to the Giga press specifications, each machine has a cycle time of 80 to 90 seconds resulting in an output rate of 40 to 45 complete castings per hour. At that rate, Berlin could produce about 1,000 castings per day. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take the ramp up is going well. I think the fourth quarter this year will be looking great. Tesla gets Indonesian EV plant proposal. June 13, 2022. Indonesia continues to woo Tesla with a proposal for an EV factory with an annual production capacity of 500,000 cars. Last Thursday, Coordinating Maritime Affairs and Investment Minister Luhut Panjaitan said the government suggested that Tesla build a plant near Batang Regency in central Java province, where it can get a steady supply of electricity from renewable sources. The Indonesian government has been promoting industrial estates that supply clean energy from renewable sources to foreign companies like Tesla, that are conscious of their carbon footprint. Local media in Indonesia reported that the government has committed to decarbonizing its economy. Sustainable energy transition is one of the main focuses of the G20 summit that Indonesia will host in November 2022. Jokowi met with Elon Musk last month and invited the Tesla CEO to visit Indonesia in November. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take it might be a good fit especially considering all the nickel that Indonesia has. New California Charging Hub will have 40 fast charges plus retail and restaurant. June 13, 2022. Real estate developer LL Development plans to build a public charging hub called the Stack Charge near Baker, California, just off I-15, a primary thoroughfare between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The Stack Charge will feature elevated retail offerings and quick service restaurants. Outdoor lounge areas, 24, 7 restroom facilities, Wi-Fi, and more, says the company. The nearly 2,500 square foot vacant drive through retail space will be leased to a quick service restaurant tenant and upgraded to include an outdoor lounge and waiting area. The company says the site will include 40 DC fast charging stations, of which 8 will be universal charging stations. 
that would seem to indicate that the other 32 will be Tesla superchargers. As those are the only type of DC chargers that aren't universal. Although they soon may be. The company wouldn't say who the operator S will be. But a photo accompanying the press release did indeed show some Tesla superchargers. Construction on the Baker site will begin in Q4 2022. And is expected to be completed in Q2 2023. The Stack Charge hopes to build 10 charging hubs in Southern California over the next year. At locations in Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Orange and San Diego counties. There is a lack of fast charging infrastructure despite the growth of EV sales. Said Stack Charge co-founder Lester Ciudad Real. We are looking to acquire sites that have strong retail real estate fundamentals and benefit from high transit traffic. As we anticipate demand to skyrocket as EVs continue to dominate the market. Existing EV charging sites offer a poor user experience due to the lack of amenities. Slow charge times. And inconvenient locations. Added co-founder Lawrence Fung. We are aiming to redefine electric car charging by turning stations into modern hubs with experience-driven amenities. Source reposted and summarized from Charles Morris at Avanex. My take wow. Next time I go to California. I will have to check it out.